What's up dance around the world and welcome back to another video Today we are going for a three hour drive to the southern of Sweden to GDM performance to get a tune on this car This is the first time I'm getting a tune for a diesel car so I'm quite excited I have been debating back and forth whether I should go for a stage 2 and that means a DPF delete and a EGR block off so um, since everything is working right now and it, it's a matter of fact it's illegal to do it so I'm going for a stage 1 tune to begin with as soon as the parts are working I don't see any any necessity to do the stage 2 it doesn't do that much of a difference in the in the horsepower or the newton meters of the car so let's start this drive and uh, see where we end up GDM performance the car is getting strapped up to the dyno so soon we will start to drive it and see what it produces stock and then put the tune in and see how much we could squeeze out of the engine so stay tuned
I have been driving for a little while now just stopped along the road to eat something and the car is so much more responsive now than it was before and as you could see from the dyno poles each pull we did the car kind of ad adapted to the new software so every pull we did it increased a little bit in power and as you can see I think it came out really good the lower part here is the the stock software for the the torque and the new software with torque and you can see it raises much higher and then it keeps it a little bit better than the, the regular one and for the power also it increases and builds up and builds up the the stock one is like 2500 rpm and then it's just losing power almost so this keeps it for a longer run so it's really good and this is how I want it I don't want something crazy because this is my daily car and it should work all day long and ju just have that extra twist to it that extra power and to lower the fuel economy is a good thing so it's a significant change in the appearance of the car it pulls much harder it's more responsive and as I was cruising along at the sixth gear I feel like it, it doesn't have to work as hard as it did before so I think it will lower the, the fuel economy as well so I'm really happy about this so I'm going to continue now and drive the last part home Finally back home. It was a pretty long ride today, but it came out super good and it was well worth the effort. Göran at GDM Performance is a super cool guy and it was really nice to meet him and he's such a professional on this. So please give him a follow on Instagram at GDM Performance and also I want you to subscribe to this channel please comment down below if you have any questions uh, if I haven't made myself really clear this was a stage one tune and uh, I chose to go this route because the EGR and the DPF is still working and it's the smallest amount of hassle to keep it as it is just to tune the car but if something by any means starts to fail or something then I will do a DPF delete, EGR block off and I will be back to GDM performance and perform the stage 2 tune. It's not uh, a big difference in the in the power numbers but it it sure gives that extra little boost so maybe something for the future I don't know it's my daily car I can't stress that enough so of course there are cars with higher performance output and higher horsepower numbers for sure. 
I think this was a cool video to, to show off what you could do with a regular diesel engine in the Saab 9.3. So, thanks for watching and be sure to look out for new videos and I will see you very soon again. Bye!